Welcome back to Good Day on WTOL 11. So many ethnic groups built the glass city and made it what it is today. And soon Toledo will open the Polish Cultural Center in East Toledo. But first, another year of honoring those of Polish ancestry who have contributed to the region. We have Tom Frost and Dave Pakulski. They join us this morning. Good morning. Thanks hey, for being dobry, here today. <laughs> yeah, so um, we know that I have talked about this many times on the air before that I am Polish and I don't know a ton of the language, but I do love the traditions, particularly the food. Yes. Love the food. And um, you all are obviously celebrating some folks in our community who have really contributed to that culture. Because, you know, when I first moved here and I f found out that there was a, a Polish village uh, on, on, off LaGrange in North Toledo, I was like, I got to go there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and your family, you have some family members who are going to be um, part of the folks who are going to be inducted this yeah, weekend. Yeah, certainly. My parents, Walter and Mary Ann Pokolski, mm -hmm. in the category of family. So we're honored. Uh, my parents are both deceased. Mm -hmm. So my brothers and sisters, and there's a total of seven of us. Mm -hmm. uh, I happen to be the firstborn of seven, but very much uh, oriented to the, the church, the school, and that community uh, were three very important things for my parents. Did a lot, what, what is it, St. Adelbert? St. Adelbert. Adelbert, uh, I always which, say that wrong. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, and right down the street a mile away was another church, St. Hedwig. Mm -hmm. So it was, I mean, the, the community was booming mm -hmm. at that time. That, you gotta think the early 1900s when all the immigrants were coming to mm -hmm. this country. I mean, that's what this country needed right. is immigrants. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so much of that culture stayed, though, in these little neighborhoods, in these pockets mm -hmm. of Toledo, and we love to celebrate each of them. And you all are gonna have this uh, ceremony on Saturday, right? That is correct. At, at Brandywine, and we're going to honor some of these families and, and some of the people in our community who have really, you know, made their mark and kept that culture strong here in the area. Absolutely. I mean, we're, we're celebrating the uh, different categories of faith, family, labor, um, uh, entertainment. Randy Krajewski with uh, Badenoff. Uh, awesome, awesome honor for Randy to be nominated and, and to be able to be induct them into the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. So lots to celebrate. And why is it so important that we keep that alive and we keep that culture here alive in our area? Especially in a, in a community like Northwest Ohio, um, one in three people traces their heritage back to Polish American um, ethnicity. And we kind of take it for granted. Um, in the United States, Toledo has the 10th largest po Polish population in the United States. Um, you, you can't, and I always like saying this line, you can't swing a kibasa out hitting a Polak here until it goes to Ohio. So that being said, we need to perpetuate and continue letting people know what our cultures and what it meant for. And it's that's not for like history, mm -hmm. it's going forward. Mm -hmm. um, we have people who have come from Poland who currently live in the city. They're professionals, they're doctors at ProMedica and, and, and the like. Sure. And we'd like for them to be part of our community as well. And Punchkis will be coming out. Yeah. Punchki, I should say, will it's be coming Punchki out season. here too. Yeah. So, and, you know. and I, I would just <laughs> want to chime in. Uh, I agree with Tom. I mean, the, the reason why it's important is because the tendency could be to Towards apathy. I mean, if you don't know where you came from, then you don't appreciate things. Mm -hmm. And having the immigrant experience and the immigrant attitude, things aren't given to you. You know, there's a there's a, maybe a tendency now to assume things are are you know I I deserve things or I should be given things. Immigrants didn't think that way. So that's why it's important. Hardworking and appreciative. Uh, and I do want to mention the Cultural Center. Where are we with that? I know you have chosen a new location on Front Street right in East Toledo. Our intentions were to break ground last June. Unfortunately, because of inflation mm -hmm. and interest rates, we found ourselves still scrambling to come up with some funds for that. So we're still in the fundraising mode. We are, it, it's, it's do or die for, for this year. Um, our goal is to break ground first quarter next year for sure. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So our, our plans are to definitely break ground and it's gonna be an awesome facility, an awesome facility, not to celebrate just our past, but our future as well. Mm -hmm. And if people want to get involved in this at all, how can they do that? Oh, absolutely. Go to our website, um, polishculturalcenter.org. Um, on there, you can also make a donation. We'll be happy to take any donations. Um, but most importantly, if you want to get involved, um, send us an email. 
Um, you can send it to um, the Polish, at, the, the email is at the website, mm -hmm. uh, polishcommunity.org. So absolutely um, love to have people come join us, mm -hmm. be a part of it, help us grow, help us build this facility. Yes, and it, like you said, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Folks, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, congratulations, enjoy your dinner. On June Kuya. Yes. Thank you.